Let's sketch an antiderivative of this function. Looking for key points, we see that there's a kink here, kink here, and a kink here. Also, y prime is zero at these two points. In each of these regions, the derivative is linear which means that in each of these regions, the antiderivative will be parabolic. We also see that the slope of the antiderivative will always be positive or zero. From x is equal to negative infinity to this point, we have a downward facing parabola of positive slope with vertex here, so slope zero. From here to here, we have an upward facing parabola, but steeper than this. From here to here, we have a downward facing parabola with same steepness as this with vertex here, so slope zero. From here to x is equal to infinity, we have an upward facing parabola with same steepness as this. The antiderivative is differentiable everywhere. The derivative exists everywhere. And this is just one antiderivative. You can shift this curve up or down any amount, and that would still be an antiderivative of this function.